Uh, welcome back, everybody. Of course, here in Michigan, we're familiar with a lot of Canadian traditions, including one of my favorite, poutine. Yeah, delicious. Today's kicking off a special event to highlight businesses along Michigan Street in Grand Rapids, and it's called Poutine Week. Restaurants are going to have their own spin on that dish, hoping that you'll pick them as your favorite option. So we're joined this morning by Kelsey Smith with the Michigan Street Corridor Improvement Authority, and also Sun Lee, the owner of uh, Caffeine Place GR, which won in this title what two years ago did you say so yes so yeah. you've got some bragging rights there okay. so uh, let's just talk about what poutine week is and how many restaurants are taking part uh, so poutine week is this amazing effort by the michigan street corridor improvement district and all of the restaurants along it yeah. uh, to really bring a special piece of fun to uh, the art prize uh, timeline and mm -hmm. Uh, some extra fun and bragging rights for our bars and restaurants along the Michigan Street Corridor. Um, what, so I, have, I have to know what inspired this because everybody seems to love poutine, but nobody, it, you never really think of it top of mind. It's never the first thing you throw out there. It's not yeah. tater tots. It's not anything, you know, like side dishes like that. Where did this idea come from? Yeah, so this actually came from Chef Craig over at the Frisian. He wanted an awesome way to promote Michigan Street in a way that every uh, restaurant could participate in. Uh, and on top of that, it's a great shareable. Yes. So the genius of it is that Michigan Street Corridor, not always uh, traditionally considered the most walkable, but you see during uh, Art Prize and Boutine Week, way more foot traffic, people going from uh, restaurant to restaurant, splitting poutines. It's something you can split, have a great drink, and then uh, yeah. order entrees yes. amongst the group. If you're looking at your TV right now, you're probably getting hungry looking at uh, <laughs> all these different pictures. So let's talk about what your winning poutine was two years ago, and what are your plans for this year's competition? Um, my winning poutine was like a Korean um, chicken was Ooh. on top of it, like Yummy. a little bit of spiciness, and yeah. then I made like a non-spicy one too, with a, like a cheese gravy, okay. but this mm. we, uh, this year mm. when I have a galbi jim, it is like a braised um, beef rib, mm. um, marinated with a, a Korean BBQ sauce, oh. and then I'm gonna put the, like um, the sauce from the idea from the French steak sauce is a peppery um, mushroom creamy sauce, yeah. so it will mm. be really great. Sounds yum. <sighs> Makes the hungry. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that what, keeps, what keeps it from being not poutine? Is it just you just have to meet the three requirements of some sort of fries, some sort of gravy, right. some sort of cheese? Yes, yes. There's it, no yeah. rules really in no that rule. regard. We we let the restaurant owners take that onus of creativity and run with it. That's awesome. Uh, we we had one year uh, seven monks did a lobster poutine. Ooh, We've yeah. had amazing uh, traditional poutines from Maggie's. Uh, we're gonna have an awesome sausage gravy one from American Legion this year. Okay. Uh, first time uh, participants in Poutine Week. So. Okay, and it sounds like we want to get in and get that poutine because these will not be on the menu after Poutine Week. Is that right? Some some restaurants like to hold on to their poutine after Poutine Week, depending okay. on how they perform and uh, kind of you know sourcing and all of that. Yeah, sure. Uh, but usually it's it's get it or. It's going to be it's gone. gone. <laughs> okay, and bragging rights are on the line. So where can we go for more information about Poutine Week? We've got the details there on your screen, but where's the best place to go? Yes, yeah, so you can go to mystreet.com backslash Poutine Week. Okay. Uh, you can also go to our Facebook page, uh, Michigan Street Poutine Week. And definitely visit to vote, get the menus and the different locations for the participants in Poutine Week. And don't forget to pick up your Poutine Week passport if you visit three different restaurants along the corridor for Poutine Week and get mm -hmm. your stickers. Yeah. Uh, you can get one of these lovely oh, Poutine yeah. Week. Nice. <laughs> so. You're checking out the art anyway. Might as well yep. work up the appetite and get some poutine. Perfect Ladies, thank you so much for being All here. Right. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you.